Hi there and welcome back to Japan to another Silent Siren reaction and review. As always, this is the review video. If you want to see the reaction, pause this video and you can see that by clicking a little link in the description below and it'll open up a separate little YouTube player just in case you wanted to hear the song first of all or if you wanted to see the video. I, I mean hear the song with me or um, yeah, anyway. Um, so <clears throat> let me give you the review if you uh, pause this if you want to watch that reaction first. But otherwise, here comes the review. Focus on the song. Song first. Song first. Um, so the song was really, really enjoyable. It was actually, I liked it. I, again, it did that thing which sometimes we have to say about a band who we've heard so many songs by, especially one who have kind of like a an easygoing core sound, which is the, yeah, I, I appreciate that this is one of those songs where it's not going to win over anyone who's not already a fan. And it's one which is going to just play very much into the arms of people who already are fans. It's very much the silent siren sound in the, it's, accessible, nice, sweet, but actually has quite a lot of musical quality to it as well. It's not just some disposable pop or some disposable pop rock as unfortunately is sometimes the case as well. It feels like it's actually got a bit of a soul to it as well. This often comes through, like I say, by the fact that um, I often have to defend uh, Sue's vocal performances and that I know a lot of people, especially from Western audiences, I've covered this before, but I'll say it quickly again. Um, and I think this is one of the reasons why Silent Siren don't so much break outside of Japan or outside of Asia, should I say, is the fact that she's got quite a high pitched voice and that's often seen as a th thin or bad in Western audiences, but actually it's just a vocal style of which there are many facets to as well. And I think she does sing with a great deal of emotion even the happy songs there's a sense of sort of a genuine quality to her voice and that comes across well in this um, straight away uh, when it goes into that verse where it, as is often the case the first verse everything breaks down you get a simple sort of backbeat guitar a little bit of drum a little bit of bass and that cool little bell sound as well which I really liked hashtag no bias that was from the keyboards wasn't it um, so at that point you know I really liked her, her, the way her vocal sort of inflection came in at that point and it just moved on from there um, the song had a really nice riff at the beginning again fairly you know been there done that you know nothing 100% original about that but it was really infectious straight from the get go when that riff comes in just the whole way the da, 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 da. I didn't quite get my notes right but it immediately brings you in you kind of feel like you know immediately with this sort of bouncy feel of the song everything works good another great bass line from Ayana should point out as well she's very good at doing those subtle bass lines but there's a lot of smarts to it but it's not overly in your face uh, and then it went into a good chorus the chorus did sound a little bit familiar i'm not gonna i'm not gonna ruin it for anyone before the new album comes out but it did remind me a lot of a uh, chorus on one of their previous songs but you know it worked in context like i said i don't think this song's being released just kind of as a nice tie-in i don't think it's being taken seriously as like a lead single or anything and you know we can expect that when a band's doing their sound, um, they're going to occasionally retread a little bit. So I can forgive it. I think though it was nicely produced enough and it had nice enough feeling, especially with that riff and the, uh, the post chorus as well. It was bouncy. It was infectious. It had a real strong sense of identity and emotion that I, I just really liked it. I liked the whole way that the song came across. Um, got something stuck in my teeth. <laughs> um, it just had a good feeling to it. It was, it, it kind of actually, yeah, it summed up a lot of what I say about Silent Siren. Um, although I didn't have the, the direction they sometimes go of like being able to really shift the emotional uh, content of their songs. This was much more straight down the middle for them, but it still kept that quality of being poppy and accessible. And yet at the same time, actually being, having a really nice, well-crafted sound and having a sense of musical quality you know it was there was musicianship to it there was a real sense that this is crafted by musicians with love for pop music um you know sort of that pop rock style of music so yeah to me it was it was a really good example of that but like i say it kind of comes come down to that thing that if you're not a fan it's not going to win you over um and if you are a fan you're already won over and you're gonna i would be very surprised if you didn't enjoy this um and as for the video um if you're uh, a Yukaram fan, hashtag no bias, probably going to enjoy it. Which reminds me, I've got something to do, so I probably should finish this video real quick. Anyway, <laughs> as always, get in there, give me your comments on what you think about this. Certainly, if you've been listening to the brand new album, I'm picking up a physical copy of it tomorrow. I believe it came out on digital today. But if you have heard the new album, you've heard the full version of this song, I'm assuming there's a long version on the album. 
certainly seems that way, then I'm uh, also interested to know what you think about that. Is it worth coming back for another review? Is there enough extra meat on the full version or variation to make it worth reviewing that separately? Um, I tend not to like to retread songs, and this is a really good reason to, but this was only a shortened version after all. Um, let me know what you think. Even if you're someone who's not a big fan of the band, you're just tripping across it now. All opinions are welcome because it is the subjective opinion that counts. Um, music is only as good as it sounds to the listener, and that in this case is you. So tell me what you think. Like and subscribe if you are at all entertained by what, what I think. Um, follow any of the social medias in our description below if you're interested in talking to other people on our channel who have things that they think. And a big thank you to anyone who thought, hmm, I'm going to sign up for the Patreon for this channel because you guys have got us through a lot of hard times recently and it is massively, greatly, really appreciated. So thank you to you for making it through to the end of the video. And for now... From Japan until I hopefully see you very soon on the next one of these. Ciao ciao.